teacher, this is one of those ones that's out in the world that everyone knows is true if they do any of this stuff in maths, okay? So it's not like, hello, where'd this come from? Maybe we should do it first. One squared is, one, two squared is, four, three squared is, four squared is, five squared is, go one more, six squared is, that's one less than a multiple of five. One less than a multiple of five. One more than a multiple of five. A multiple of five. One more than. So what's our rule? Multiples of five. Yeah, they're either one more than a multiple of five, one less than a multiple of five, or a multiple of five. Now how many people in real life sit there and go, well, where are we going to use this? But we don't. It's an understanding, it's a reasoning process. It's things that, you know, mystical things that happen in life where people want to prove or be able to figure out why it works or how it works. And now we turn it into, and you're going to get, it's either going to be a multiple of five. Now are we four? How can we write it, Ben? No, no, no. How do we write the words of the rest of this situation? There's a multiple of five. We're now going to say, how do we describe that, 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 and that? One more, one more. Yeah. So it's either a multiple of five, or one more than, or one less than. Would those words make sense to you? Less than a multiple of five. Yeah? Now we've got to prove it. Oh, I am exhausted. Let's talk about a multiple of five. How can we write a multiple of five? And what letters do we use? Or why do we use what? It's just five x. Ready? What's your other situation we've got to deal with? How can we get one more than a multiple of five? What are we going to call it? 5x plus 1. 5x plus 1. Can you write down the rest of them? What about, what about 2 more than? Which is back over to those situations I was talking about over there. 2 more than, 2 less than. 2 it's more than. A multiple of 5, what's it going to be? Yeah. Multiple of 5, multiple of 5. 5x plus 2. Now, would you rather go one less than or would you rather go three more than? It's your choice. Is there a pattern to the multiples of three? Is there a pattern to the multiples of four? Is there a pattern to the multiples of six? Okay, so you written all them down. What do you got? The last one's going to be 5x plus four. So that's four more than a multiple of five. Well, we're going to try to prove with each of these things. Now we're going to square them. We're going to square. We're going to do with 5x all squared. We're going to do it with 5x plus 1 all squared. We're going to do it with 5x plus 2. And when I say we, that's you. And then we're going to divide the I squared. Come on. Bend them out and see what you got. So that's 25. It's 5 times 5x squared, which is... What? A multiple of five. How big are you lead with these, Amy? You know we square that? How do I square that? Uh, 25x squared. Multiply them? Uh, 5x squared plus 5x squared? No. Multiply one and 5x? Oh, sorry, 5x plus 5x. Double it, not square it. Yeah. 10x plus one. Now, this is the odd part. But by the way, we were looking for one more than and one less than. So this is one more than what? If I take out the common factor there, five outside of. X squared plus, oh, plus two X. Plus one, i.e. Multiple of five. One more than. Wow. Multiple of five. So it's a nice process. Are you okay that's 25 x squared? Are you okay that's 20x? Are you okay that is? 
plus 4. So we've got 5 outside of 5x squared plus 4x plus 4, which is 1 less than the multiple of 5. Anything it's 4 more than so. But well, are we going to write 1 more than? So we were dealing with 4 more than, but it's still 1 less than. One less than. So Ethan, you're right. Mm -hmm. 25x squared, that's a 30x and that's a 9. So you've got 5 outside of the 5x squared plus 6x. Oh, 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 I should have done that. Should have gone a step further. Or do we? What if I wrote that? So what have I done with the 9? I think to myself, you've done that then some of your presentation might be good. So you can split that as a 5 and a 4. Why? So we can get 5 out of the 5x squared oh, yeah, plus right. 6x plus 1. So I, I nearly thought I'm not finishing off. Now that it is 1 less than the multiple 5. So I better finish. Ethan, tell me what the right. 25x squared plus 40x plus 16. So this time we've got, you have to write 25x squared plus 40x plus what? Um. Wait, why do you do 1 plus 1? Why? Because we want the 5s to come out of this. How many 5s go into that? 3, and then you Three. Get so I need 15. Oh, right, yeah. You're yeah, okay now? You were right before, but you weren't plus 1. So now I've got 5 outside of 5x squared. Plus 8x plus 3 plus 1, which is 1 more than 1, 4, 5. And therefore we can say true QED. Mm -hmm.